Okay, so we bought a boat previously on La Vida Pena Vega. We are packing up sadly because it is time to leave the boat. Big Time Rush is doing our first our first two uh, comeback shows. So we absolutely love, love, love being being on Maui. It, it, it That's is where our hearts are. Yeah. During the time that you're watching on the vlog, and we were actually only there for a really short, kind of like blip. less than two months. Carlos's love language is the acts of kindness. Something he has been wanting to get done is paint the garage. What's going on everybody? Carlos and Alexa here and we are back for another episode of La Vida Pena Vega. Finally! Uh, finally! Yes. You know the holidays kind of threw off our entire schedule uh, with getting things out every single Friday. Um, but we are back. We are in full swing. Uh, Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. <laughs> all the holidays. Happy holidays. Happy New Year. And Happy New Year to those of you uh, who are watching this. I guess right after you. Anyways, I don't even it's know what I'm saying, year, guys. guys. It's going to be a great year, 2024. <laughs> my name is Carl Pinavega. This is my wife, Alex Pinavega. And welcome to the show. Let's, Let's go. go. So, today is Thursday. We are trying to get as much as we can done in the garage. So, the last few days, I've been a little bit nauseous, and I um, couldn't really figure out why, so now I'm going to take a pregnancy test. I may or, not, may or may not be pregnant. Um, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world, but I do feel like my body is still healing. Um, so, yes, I should stop procrastinating. And just take one. Cool. To play it safe, I have two of these. So I'm gonna pee on both sticks, just in case. Okay, so while we wait, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if I'm pregnant pregnant. That would be great. It's a blessing. It's amazing. Um, I think this time around, um, I'm kind of a little scared to find out if I'm pregnant just because my body took the third pregnancy really, really hard. Between the varicose pains, between Rio being born early, there were a lot more pains. Um, throughout that whole pregnancy, random scares, there was even like some crazy bleeding where I thought I lost Rio in the middle of my pregnancy. Um, just a lot of ups and downs that um, this time around, not that I live in fear or that I'm super fearful. I'm just kind of like, okay, the, if we're doing it again, I want to be as prepared as possible. Um, so if I'm pregnant right now, I don't necessarily feel like I'm as prepared as possible, but that's where my faith in God has to like really come in. And I just have to trust that he's got me. And then all is right. Okay, so the first two pregnancy tests uh, messed up. <laughs> so they just didn't keep going. So now I gotta do it again. Okay. Right, four pregnancy tests later, not pregnant. Good. I gotta figure out why I'm nauseous. I got so caught up on the nausea and pregnancy thing that I haven't shown you guys what we've accomplished in here. Look at this carpet. Um, we decided to wait until we're back to do the gym. So we're just kind of finally cleaning up all the junky stuff that was out there, bringing it into the garage, finding a home for it, packing up the trailer, and just getting things done. We're ready to get things done. It's hard sitting in mess and clutter. Not good for your brain. Good 
morning. Buenos dias, guys. It is a beautiful day here in Maui, Hawaii. We are headed to the goat farm. I don't, you missed it. We've already done all this. We did the intro earlier in the car without you. Oh, you did? Okay. Boys, are you guys excited for the goat farm? Yeah. Kingston, are you excited for the goat farm? Rio, are you excited for the goat farm? Yay! Kingston is sad because after mommy put his shoes on, we had to wait because I had to go get you inside and grab a couple other things. I come back out, his shoes are off, so then we leave. But now he's mad that his shoes are off of his feet. He took his own shoes off of his feet. It's not like anybody did that. Two year old problems. And now he's very upset that he's not wearing his shoes. No way. Good job, Ocean. Want to feed him, Kingston? Yeah. Oh, hey, hello. That's very fast. Hey, it's like they don't get food. They just. Right there. Okay. Well, that, like that. I want to go all the way up. Good job. He knows how. I'm in, dude. Show me, Kingston. Yeah. Do it, do it, do it. This is the highlight. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I did it. I got it. He was like, you know, he didn't like it. I think she's drinking, no? Before Alexa and I moved to this house, uh, we used to, actually, before we had Rio, too, we used to play Call of Duty all the time. I mean, Literally every single night. It was so fun. So fun. Your headset's right there too. So one thing that I definitely feel like I brought to our marriage is gaming. Alexa didn't game as much until she met me, and 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 we've kind of bonded over a game called Call of Duty. Have you guys heard of it? Yes. We are kind of obsessed. We had our little setup with our our our, our two TVs, our headsets, and we play every single night. And this is not a sponsored thing, but they actually just sent us the new game. And some headsets. Yeah, we still uh, and, and, and 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 some controllers. So I'm anxious to, to you know get back into I'll it too. and uh, you know play again. So any of you call Call of Duty, uh, you know people out there, comment below. Maybe we'll play together. But it's like gamer tag, whatever. I, I I don't know. I I just play with her own team. Look so. up Daddy Cito. You'll no, find no, you'll no. find one of no, his. No 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 no. There's can't. like a hundred thousand Daddy Cito. Uh, don't 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 tell people. My friend request. Play me, play me, play. Me. <laughs> Hello. There we go. Oh, search. What's search and deploy? What is, is this? It is there no more plunder? Van. Oh, plunder quads, baby. Plunder quads. Let's go. What? What? Thash? Thash, are you there? Donde esta? La biblioteca. Where's my wallet? Aloha, good morning, how's it going? So we had a slight change of plans. We were all supposed to get on a flight this evening at 8.35 American Airlines all the way into Dallas, Fort Worth, and then two hour layover, and then all the way to West Palm Beach where we would all get in a car and drive to the boat. So the plan was for all of us to, you know, be on the boat for two, three months, finish fixing it up, and head to the Bahamas. Well, just, you may have a plan, but God has a better one. Well, you don't think it's better in the moment, but God's plan is always better. Okay, so here's what happened. Our best friend Andrew's family, we had told them that they could stay at our house uh, because we thought that we'd be gone. Well, plans change. So last year, we were on the boat a lot longer than expected, so we got home in early January. We weren't ready to just get up and leave the house for a long period of time, again, just a month later. I had originally planned a work trip, so Alexa and the kids are gonna stay here. I'm gonna head to California, all while Alexa and the kids are gonna stay with our friends Hannah and Noah because Andrew's family is staying in our house and they're basically kicking us out. But it's okay, they're like family, so. Baby daddy! Save you? Oh no, I'm saving him. I'm sorry, Kingston, I can't save you. I can't. No! I'll save you again, I'll save you again. I got him. Save me 
I can't. I can only save one of you. I choose Rio. Ah! I'm just kidding. I would try and save all of you. Alexa and the kids had to uh, find a place to stay while I went to California to film a music video with Big Time Rush. Noah and Hannah fun. graciously uh, <laughs> invited them to stay there. We'll never do that again because I hate putting people out. Um, but it was such a blessing because we didn't have to pay for uh, for any or hotel or any Airbnb for 10 days, which I was dreading because Maui is so expensive. Poor Alexa was charging the car off a trickle charger, like off the 110. It was and it like was, two miles an hour. It, or it, something it was crazy. just, it was not good because we had told Andrew's family that they could use our truck. Yep. So Andrew's so family had... had the truck, they had the house. The only people, the only people that I would ever let sleep in my, I have this thing with with my, with, with, with my bed. I'm like, I just don't want people like doing it in my bed. You know what I'm saying? <gasps> like, 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 like that's just, I, cause it, oh that's my like God. my bed, right? That's like my space. <laughs> Andrew's parents are the only people that I would ever allow <laughs> to sleep in my bed. Sorry. But now I'm thinking about it. I'm like, <laughs> did they do it? I don't know. Carlos. Okay. Okay, so I land in LA and I am like beyond excited because it is gonna be the first music video, first big music video that we have filmed uh, for Big Time Rush in the last, you know, 10 years. Uh, and this was a big deal. Morning. music video day. We, we just got here. I got a burrito! Of the, oh wow, hey, did we all get burrito? Um, I, I can't eat no, it. No, but the top, that, that is weird, the top is off of this already. No, it's fine. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat the. Well, we just got to the music video shoot for Not Giving You Up. We're here with our beautiful team. I'll show you Allie later. Allie killed it. What does your shirt say? Lover boy. Oh. You have the most interesting oh, clothes. My friend, my friend. Uh, so I will actually look at her. And, so guys, so, so this was like the first real big single that we were pushing. Big music video. We spent a lot of money on it. Uh, I think we went over budget. Uh, sorry. Um, well, I don't know what I'm saying sorry to sorry to us. That was not that was not the intention. Rob's only gonna be on that side of you guys, so we're seeing the back of y'all's head. You know what I'm saying? Hey, personal. Hey, I'm ready. BTR, you ready? Do it for the vlog, bro. For us, like, this, this has been our chance to kind of like reinvent ourselves and do it our way. So going into this big expensive music video that we paid for, it felt really empowering. Like, hey, we're doing it our way. Uh, and I think it came out great. So, yeah. Who's ready to go to Chili's? It's the weekend, baby. <laughs> <laughs> What a day. <laughs> it was a uh, that was a long one. So last night I was talking to Alexa and I was telling her that my flight tomorrow morning is at 7.45 a.m. But that we were gonna wrap super late. It's 11.06 right now, I just got home, gonna eat some food. And she said, you need to book a later flight because you're gonna kill yourself trying to leave uh, for a 7 a.m. flight. And I agreed. And she found me a flight leaving at 4 p.m. for 120 bucks. So we booked that, canceled the other one, and yeah. I now get to actually sleep in, maybe eat a good breakfast, get a workout, get a workout, eat a, eat a breakfast. I can kind of do whatever I want. So now uh, I'm gonna cook some food, watch some TV, and go to sleep. So for those of you who are just joining us uh, recently, my wife is actually pregnant with our Fourth, fourth child. child. We have four, well, three kids already. Ocean, Kingston, and Rio. We love them dearly. 
Uh, but now we are about to welcome baby number four sometime next year. <laughs> we are so excited. Alexa. And we're waiting. We're waiting to see what we're having. So Yes, so we don't know if it's a boy or girl. We yet. don't know if it's a boy or girl. Uh, but, please, very weird. but please please give a grief a grief. A brief <laughs> I <laughs> cannot I cannot spit that I please give a brief uh, pregnancy update. Um this has been probably the hardest pregnancy yet on you, on me, on all of us. Yeah. Um and we've had like a cold for a month. So that she's, has not. <laughs> she's had a cold. That not been I fun. sleep in this room. Um, but other than that, it is now uneventful. We're going in for another checkup next week sometime. And hopefully I'll have more updates. But Carlos did tell me, he was like, oh, the next time you go and just find out what you're having. I was like, absolutely not. I just we don't said wait. that we would I don't wait. Want, I, I'm, I, I just want to know. But if she wants to wait, then we'll wait. But I, can, I, I just want to know. You know what? Know. I could have the doctor write it on a piece of paper and you can know and I won't. That's kind of fun. Okay, so this week um, for our wow, before we start, I want to talk about a gift that I got and then it's it's, it's all going to just kind of tie in. The gift but that we got. We got, we got this awesome gift. So um, one of our really good friends, Mike, uh, his wife, Jackie, we, we met them a long, long, long time ago back when we were doing our Bible study. Uh, at our house in, in California. This is like 10 years ago. Yeah. By the way, we're gonna be married 10 years on January 4th. Let's go! Crazy. She started this company called Bibles and Coffee and you can literally see them on Instagram. Go to, uh, I, I think it's at Bibles and Coffee. Um, and she started this company re redoing Bibles. Um, yeah, I mean, she used to paint a bunch of Bibles. Paint, like hand painting the covers. I think she still does some other stuff. And then, and she, then did, she did like leather did bound ones, and then now she got this print. new stuff. Look at that family. So she sent us these as a gift, um, and I just have to give them a shout out because Jackie, awesome. you you are so talented. I mean, mine's got pictures of my family on it. If you have a Bible that that is in need of a new facelift, she can do that. Um, if you just want to order a Bible, they have tons of different co covers to to go into the wow. I like to me, this is so inspiring. The fact that she is so passionate about something and has literally taken it to the next level, right? She she started this years and years ago, back when we first met them, and she was literally just hand painting them. And now she's making these incredible custom covers and I just... It's awesome. I'm a huge advocate for finding things in your life that you're really, really, really passionate about. And like, just like, going for it and and like like having a goal right especially when it comes to like a marriage you guys should have a common goal to work towards together i was talking to my brother today and he was like yeah so me and my uh you know girlfriend our plan is to i'm gonna help her finish her project for her bedroom so we can clear her garage so i can get my car in the garage so that I can clean out my garage and use it as a workspace so I can change the floors and the sinks in my place so that I can rent it out. And I was like, dude, they literally have this common goal that they're working towards. And he's like, dude, we're kicking butt. We come home and we work on it and we get it done. And it's like this thing that we're just driving towards. And I feel like you should, you, you, you should really have that. Uh, like Lex and I kind of struggle with that sometimes. And I kind of always have to point us back, back in the direction. And I'm like, okay, well, what's our mission? What's the mission in the season that we're in? Because your mission is going to change in the season that you're in, in the season of life that you're in. But I think that having a mission and having a goal kind of keeps you on that track. For me, it helps me stay sane. Um, I'm someone who really loves organization. I'm someone who really loves uh, scheduling. And if I don't have like something that I'm working towards, even if it's as silly as refitting a boat, like, you know, this is my mission when I'm not doing the acting or the singing or the writing or performing or producing. This is my mission that I'm like, okay, cool. I can go up, go about my day, but I'm trying to get this done. That was a great wow. You killed it. Bing, bang, it's boom. So good. That's it. That's it. So go find your mission this week, guys. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in. Remember, if you like uh, what we're doing, subscribe, hit that little bell, bing, bang, boom, do the thing. Uh, and we'll see you guys next week for another episode of La Vida Pena Vega. Much love, God bless, and as always, chop liver. liver! See you in the next one.